All right, so now we have the uh, latest version of JPanel Minified uh, JS on our site, or at least attached to the widget. And what we're going to do now is actually, well, implement it. So let's go to the documentation, and the uh, thing we see here is how do I use this thing? Now, um, kind of reading through, we see that what they did is they actually created. Um, their plugin so that it requires what's the you know a constructor function to create it. Essentially, what we're doing here is creating a variable called uh, JPM that um, initiates JPanel menu, and that's because you see that there are some options that we could implement uh, in this function. But um, before we even check out any options that we have let's actually just get the bare bones thing going so all right first order of business let's initiate jpanel menu and we could just straight copy and paste this code into our script.js now it doesn't really matter where you put it um, I'll just put it at the end and then uh, I'll put a note in my jpanel menu um, here we go and now I've initiated it um, I don't think anything's gonna happen at this point yeah no change okay we got a little bit more to go now let's see by default jpanel menu will look for an element with a, with an ID of menu to use as the menu and elements with a class of menu trigger to use as the triggers. Okay, so what I'm assuming this is telling me here is that menu trigger, this element over here must have the menu trigger function. Now I mentioned must have because obviously this page uses it, so while we're reading the instructions, we can dig a little bit in the code and if we use the inspector option in um, Firebug, I just click or click over here, and yeah, see, in fact, this A, well, it has two um, classes on there. It has menu trigger and ss-icon, which is what it's getting, more than likely using this as its icon in the code. Um, so, yeah, so let's see. Uh, if we go to our HTML, um, we actually aren't prepared for this. We, we're going to need to add a new element um, that's going to act as our trigger. Now, um, probably be cooler if we add a um, a menu, or, um, rather an icon for it. But for right now, let me just put a nice H2 element, um, and I'll just call it menu. I'll go back here, and now we have a menu option. Okay. But now uh, we need to add that class in order to make this menu op, op uh, this menu, uh, ugh, sorry, this header uh, a trigger. So we'll add the uh, let me get out of this. We'll add the menu trigger class. Keep in mind this is a class because this other one is an ID. Um, and here we go, class equals, and then we go menu trigger. Okay, cool. Um, what's next? Now we need to put the ID menu. Uh, it's what we're going to use as the menu. Now this piece of the instruction is a little vague because I'm thinking do I add that menu ID to my UL? You know, I'm thinking probably. Um, or do I add it to my div container that's uh, nav menu? Now, the only reason I say probably is because um, you, it's more predictably people are going to be using an unordered list or an ordered list for a menu as opposed to wrapping it in a div container as well. So just thinking predictably or you know maybe what the author's thinking I'm gonna go ID and I'll name it menu and let's see is that enough to get it going no not quite I'm just clicking on my menu over here um, let's see what else we have so either use these IDs and classes as your element or pass a custom selector string pointing to JPanel menu okay so this example code over here is just saying 
if you don't want to use these IDs in this class for your menu and your trigger you can actually add these options to your um, to your implementation to get something more custom to your needs uh, why would you do that I don't know maybe you're already using menu in an ID for something else or menu trigger or you just just, just don't like the name whatever your deal is um, here's your options so um, as you noticed we're not quite done yet because this isn't doing anything so let's see the final piece is that now we've you know it says that this part we need to actually initiate the J panel menu now you're saying oh hey hey I thought we initiated over here no we didn't initiate it we just created an instance of it uh, jQuery knows hey we have the thing and then by initiating it down here with the on we're essentially doing that we're turning on the functionality so uh, let's keep our fingers crossed that we did everything else right this should save it and be the last step in our implementation now let's see I'm spinning, but what is this? Oh, look at this. Okay, so it's working, but not exactly what we expected. So we're going to need to kind of fine-tune this a bit.